recent global events, like the pandemic and the conflict in Ukraine, have exacerbated currency risk, which impacts multinational corporations and retail investors alike. High market volatility has led to wide fluctuations in currency values, making it hard to predict the risks of international business deals and investments. My name is Ying Wu. I'm a professor at the School of Business at Stevens Institute of Technology. I research currency risk to help individuals and corporations understand their exposure to foreign exchange rate volatility. Inflation is a serious issue right now. Many nations' central banks are hiking interest rates to relieve price pressures. Recently, the Fed raised its benchmark interest rate to the highest level in 15 years, indicating the ongoing threat of inflation. U.S. monetary policy doesn't just affect the American dollar. Changes to interest rates and the relative strains of the dollar affect global markets. There's an intricate relation among world currencies, which is why currency risk is so difficult to predict. Currency risk is a complicated factor of valuation, and this is not a new problem. It's one that has vast international asset pricing experts for decades. At Stevens, we take a unique approach to data analysis, shedding light on this issue so we can all better understand the effects of currency risk. The empirical research in currency risk has yet to bear fruit. Our approach is different in two main ways. We use a different proxy for exchange rate risk, and we include emerging markets. We use a newer set of currency risk factors as proxies for foreign exchange rate risk, a dollar risk factor and a carry trade risk factor. And we look at monthly returns for more than 47,000 stocks over a four decade period. We identify signals in the data and benchmark currency risk factors against a variety of global asset pricing models. Noting the characteristics of the companies we track, like the size, value, momentum, and profitability, our findings should help corporations better assess their exposure to risk. This work should also support those small and medium businesses looking to make better decisions about whether to hedge their currency risk. In addition to providing insights for practitioners, we want to bring these insights to the classroom, where we are introducing extensive case study to our undergraduate courses, like those in MBA program. Through these real-world cases, students can examine currency risk, international portfolio management, and various monetary policies. Globalization isn't just a social or telecommunication phenomenon, it's also a financial one. Markets across the globe are more connected than ever, which is why we must understand and mitigate currency risk.